Hey, so what is going on everyone? It is me, Mr. Mario, and yes, I am up at like 8 in the morning here on break. I actually woke up a lot earlier, but uh, first off, I want to apologize. Um, this this news is a little old, I guess in internet terms. This is about a day old now, but it's still very exciting. And I really had to run it through my head. I'm just like, do I want to cover this? No, maybe, yes, but you know what? I figured you all would really like to hear about this, so I'm going to cover it. Anyways, in case you all don't know, the Xbox One NAND has been dumped now what does this mean well don't get your hopes up for playing any you know backup games on it yet don't get your hopes up for any unsigned code just yet but we're going to see some things very very soon on here now so far let's go ahead and read into this now it's showing and this is all translated and this is everywhere it's on console crunch it's on a few other websites but right here Let's go ahead and read this, and this has been translated from an original language, but it says the NAND Xbox One is 4.9 gigabytes in size and can be as in the 360 dump with an SD card reader. So pretty much Microsoft screwing up already right there. We are using previous gen's tools to hack up this next gen. <laughs> uh, in case you all don't know, you do need an SD card reader to dump the NAND on some of the Corona models. I believe the 4 gigabyte model and a few others. Now, it says right here, JRunner may not be used for dumping because it reads out the maximum of 3.5 gigabytes of Corona. The quartz must be disabled as in the Corona V2. So that's pretty self-explanatory right there. Now, right here, we do have a picture. And at first, I was really worried because this is part of the Xbox One motherboard. I was just like, oh, I'm, I'm seeing this ground right here. This is some pretty shady work that Microsoft was doing, you know, straight out of the plants. But no, from what I'm looking at, I think they just scraped a little bit of the board right here just so they could have a proper ground but honestly this really doesn't look too hard to dump the NAND now we haven't gotten a, a blu-ray drive key we haven't gotten a CPU key uh, there's no hello world running on here or anything but we are taking steps in the right direction in case you all don't know I did not cover this but the very first Xbox one game was actually dumped about a week before the console retailed it was Call of Duty Ghosts and it has been dumped however there's no security patches for it there's no way to get it running there's nothing like that but this is the step I'm wanting to see because really dumping game is a step in the right direction but it's a small baby step what we need is something more like this Dumping the NAND is something pretty big, and I'm very excited to see this. Now here, it's also showing, you know, parts of the NAND. If you've never messed with Hex before, I've messed around a little bit in Hexing. This looks like a bunch of gibberish, but Hexing a 5 gigabyte file just sounds like a nightmare. And right here, they are covering up some of the info. So, I mean, this could even be some of the keys that they're pulling out, but they just need a proper way, a user-friendly way of getting the keys out. But especially right here, if you look, it's going to say PLDS DG. 6M1S, I want to say that's it. I don't really want to zoom in right now. And that's one of the codes right there, probably a serial number or whatnot. So I'm not 100% sure on that. But you can see the drive right there, which is showing that this is a legitimate NAND. Anyways, I'm going to link this down below in the description just in case you all want to check this out. But this is very exciting modding news, everyone. And I, I'm hoping within the next few months we can see at least some type of variant of Hello World and then some third party code on here first. Because trust me, I really want to see this stuff done on systems. I do. And I just want to say, you know, I don't wish anything bad against any company, but come on, Microsoft. Like, how is it that your system gets the NAND dumped, like, the weekend it comes out? Like, it's been, what, three, four days since the system was out and this NAND was dumped. And Sony, I, I haven't heard anything from them. And their console was out in the wild, you know, long before. There were a few consoles that were sold, you know, pre-release. And uh, it's been out a week longer, and I'm not hearing anything from it. Anyways, this is Mr. Mario, signing off. Thanks for watching, everyone.